Hello class, how are you doing? Hope that you are all fine and staying healthy in your ways. Today, we're going to continue our studies on Unit 4, because we've been studying Unit 4 for the past three or four weeks, and we're going to continue on that. Today, our study is going to be on page 35 to 37. The subjects are rules of etiquette. What is rules of etiquette? Can you please post something up on my board or on our Telegram post? what etiquette is. We're going to talk more about it and I will explain to you what etiquette is, but before I go on, I want you to catch some of the words, some of the etiquette words I use and post it up on our Telegram post. So if I say something that is etiquette, write it, post it up on our Telegram post and tell me that I say something that's etiquette. Can you do that please? Okay, the first word that I put down here, words that you should know, that you need to know is etiquette, which I will explain later. And the second word is whispers, steer, and conversation. Okay, let's go on the word whispers. Can you say it with me? Whispers. What is whispers? Can some of you write down the meaning for me in our telegram post or on our telegram post? And steer. Can some of you write down what steers on our post? And lastly, Conversation. Conversations. Are we having a conversation right now? Are you communicating with me right now? If, if you say we are, then we are having a conversation. Okay, I will give you the meaning of the word conversation. Please pay attention and try to follow me with it. Conversations mean that we are engaging in a talk. We are communicating. So if you are listening to me right now or watching my video, and communicating back and forth on Telegram, we are having a conversation. That means we are engaging in a dialogue. We are talking together. So conversation means talking. Me and you or within a group of people. Hope you understand that. And if you have further questions about conversation, post it on a text and we explain it together as a group. And steer. What is steer? Is that a steer? If you say steer is looking at something very long with a sharp eye, you are correct. Steer means to look at something, look at an object for very long with an impolite gesture. I mean, I am staring at you because you are not watching your video or you are not doing your homework. Steer means to look at something with a sharp eye. Whispers. Do you whispers in class? Class, I want you to please don't have a loud conversation but speak softly and whisper to your classmates. So tell me what whisper is. If you say whisper is speaking softly in a slow tone, you are correct. I am whispering to you right now. Can you hear me? That is called whispering. When you speak lowly so you don't interrupt nobody else, and you don't make a loud scene, so whisper. Can you hear me, class? That is a whisper. Okay, now on to our word etiquette. I've seen some of you probably made some posts about some etiquette word I use. Like for instance, when I started out, when I say, please class, can you pay attention to our videos? Please is an etiquette word. Can you help me? I'm sorry, etiquette. Etiquette means a nice behavior where you act nicely. Like, for instance, in the classroom, do you have etiquettes in the classroom? That means, do you come in, give respects to the teacher, give respects to your other students and your classmates? If you do, that means you have a nice etiquette, means you have a nice behavior. Okay, in understanding all that, we will come to our first task on this video. And on our first task in the video I wrote here, choose three words and write a complete sentence sentences using these words. So I want you to, out of these four words, choose three and write a complete sentence. For example, I'm going to use a whisper. I whisper to my classmates about a problem I had yesterday. I whispers. So that is a complete sentence. I'm using the word whispers. But I want you to choose three. Adequate, whisper, stares, or conversation and write that in a complete sentence. And out of your, your, your second question, your second question is in your book. Can you please turn out your book and turn to page 35. 
And page 35, there are 18 lines of sentence. And out of these 13 lines of sentence, they want you to pick which of the following are or are not considered rules of etiquette in your country. So they have 18 words in the sentence. And out of these 18 words, if one of these words is not adequate in your country, please cross it out. Or what I want you to hear is write the number of the sentence. So for example, I'm going to go to number four. They say, yawn in public. Is that adequate or is it not? What does yawn mean? You can ask me through our conversation on Telegram or some of you might know yawn. Is it polite to act in public when you yawn? Adequate means so, so polite, be nice. So if some of these rules are not adequate, please write the number down in your notebook and submit it to me. Okay class, you will have 30 minutes to complete your first task. Write three sentences and cross out the inadequate words. So till our 30 minutes is up, I will see you on the second video. Goodbye class. Hello class, welcome back to the second video for today's lessons. I hope you enjoyed learning about these verses in our first lessons. I see some of you wrote down some beautiful words and beautiful sentences using these words. I want to thank you for that. Now on to our second task of this lesson. And our second task is on page 36 in your book. And it's entitled, Keep Germs Away. Keeping Germs Away. And it have listed of rules of things you should and shouldn't do on how to keep germs away. For example, it says here like cover your mouth and nose with a tissue when you sneeze, cough or blow on your nose. So when you blow your nose or sneeze, cover your hand or tissue with your mouth, with your hand. And it said for the second one example, they said discard, use tissues in the trash as soon as you can. The word discard, disc discard. Also wrote that word on our board, Disca discard. Also I wrote prescribe, clinic, contaminated, and respiratory. These are the words that you can find in your book on page 36 about how you keep germs away. And for your second task, I want you to, in your notebook, after reading the, all this text, write down the meaning of discard prescribed, clinic, contaminated, and respiratory. Please do not look in your dictionary or Google Translate. Try to find the meaning from reading your text, okay? Like for example, the word I'm doing with you, discard. Discard is on the second dot on your book. It said, discard use tissues in the trash as soon as you can. It's discard use tissue in the trash. So what does it mean to put stuff in the trash, discard in the trash? If you have guessed, I mean discard mean to throw away or to put in, you are correct. Discard means to throw away. So if you have guessed, discard means to throw away in the trash, you are correct. That is only the first example that I will give you. Now, you will have to Write down the meaning for prescribe, clinic, contaminate, and respiratory. Try to find this meaning from the text in the books, okay? Do not use any other aid to help you with. If you want, you can ask me and I will guide you through your answers, okay, class? Okay, you will have 30 minutes to complete this task. Once you complete this task, you can post it up on our Telegram post for all your classmates to see. Okay, until our last video, bye class. Hello class, welcome to our last video for today's lessons. On today's lessons, especially on the first video, we talked about rules of etiquette. As you, you know, etiquette means a polite behavior, meaning how you should act nice. And I see some of you have wrote some beautiful sentences using the word etiquette, whisper, stares, and conversations. You did a great job on your exercises. And you have understand all these terms. Thank you for doing your work in task one. And task two, we also talked about on page 36, is way to keep germs away, how to stay healthy. And I have some tasks for you in task two, and since some of you already submitted me in your work, great job on covering the meanings of the words, like the word discard, 
and contaminated and all this stuff. I see that some of you have understand it. Some of you still are still asking me questions about it, and I will guide you through those meanings. Again, please do your task and submit it to me by the end of our class. And for our third exercise for today, yes, we have a third one, and you always know that it is homework. Your homework today is on page 37. Right here. It is a quite simple exercise for you today. So I hope all of you can do this and send it to me real quick. But if you can't send it to me by today, you have till all the way till next week before we start our class again. So this is your homework. I hope you enjoy today's lesson, learning the rules of etiquette and learning some behavior. So the next time when you see me, see your parents or see other teachers, you will use adequate words to greet us, to ask us how we're doing. Also, you will use adequate and polite words to greet your families, like your mom and dad, your relative, and so on. So these are words that you can use in your life right now and till the end of time. So it is always nice to use adequate words. Like I say, thank you class for participating with me today and thank you for doing your homework. Those are adequate words that I use so I can be polite to you and have a good behavior. So the next time we see each other, have some adequate words for your teachers, for your class today, for your class tomorrow, or for your class for the whole week and see what good spirits can you lift from your teachers and also from yourself. Okay, this is the end of our lessons. Until we meet again next week, goodbye, stay safe, and be healthy class.